geometric solids, prisms, and cylinders. All right, so a quick review. This is a square prism right here. So the bases are squares, and it's a prism if it has two of the same thing, top and bottom, or left and right. Okay, that's a prism. So this guy's a triangular prism. The bases are triangles. And then this one's a cylinder where the bases are circles. Okay, and then we've got a pyramid. This one is a triangular pyramid. It's a triangle on the bottom, and it meets up at a point. That's what makes it a pyramid. Then we've got a sphere. And what is this guy? No. Cone. Neat. Okay. Um, this is important. All right. So this right here, what is this? What's the name of this shape figure thing? Pentagonal prism. It would be a pyramid if it met up at a point but had a base as a pentagon. Since we have two pentagons, this is a prism with pentagon as the bases. So the bases are the two pentagons. All right. What are the lateral faces? Yes, Bishu. Um, the rectangles. Exactly. All of these things on the outside, okay? Those are the lateral faces. It's everything but the bases. So if I do this Kleenex box and I say that the base is the top and the bottom, the lateral faces are all the other stuff that goes around the sides, okay? Those are the lateral faces. The altitude, and I would write down in your notes that altitude means height. Okay, altitude is the same thing as height. So when you read altitude, just think height. All right, so let's say that they tell us that this distance from here to here, so it's in between those two bases, is 10, then the altitude or height is 10. All right, and then these are lateral edges right here. Okay, all those guys going around, lateral edges. All right, oblique cylinder and right cylinder. So oblique is just obviously standing like not straight, okay? So if you were to do the volume of an oblique cylinder, do not use the slant height. Let's say this is 30, but the altitude is 20. You would not use the slant height at all, all right? You would do area of the base times the height, and the height has to make a right angle with the ground, okay? So don't use the slant height. Um, this one would be good to go. This would be your height. It stands up straight, and that makes a right angle. Okay, in case you forgot, volume equals area of the base times the height. I'm pretty sure you know that, but we're going to review it with some other terminology today. All right, so volume, area of the base, times the height. Only for prisms and cylinders, okay? Not for pyramids, not for cones, just prisms and cylinders. And then this is like new-ish. If you did pre-algebra last year, Maybe you did this. Lateral surface area. I would write this down. Okay, lateral surface area is equal to perimeter of the base times the height. This comes from the surface area formula that we use for prisms and cylinders, which is twice the area of the base plus perimeter of the base times the height. So this is the surface area formula, right? And this part here, this twice the area of the base, that gives you the area of, say, the two circles or the two pentagons or the two rectangles, right? So if they ask you for lateral surface area, they are only asking you for the outside sides. In other words, if I was like, what is the lateral surface area of this guy? It would be all of the outside rectangles. It would not be the bases. We don't care about the bases. We just want all the outer edge, okay? If it was a cone, right? And I said, what is the lateral surface area? Actually, not cone. I meant cylinder, okay? If it was a cylinder, what is the lateral surface area? Which part am I talking about? Yeah, it would not be these two guys. It would be that, like, thing that goes around it, okay? That's the lateral surface area. Everything but the bases. So it is literally this formula without the bases, okay? It's the perimeter, the base times the height. That gives you all the area of this part or all the rectangles when we're doing the pentagon one, all right? The area of a right pentagonal prism is 34 inches squared. So you guys, they're telling us the area of the base of a right pentagonal prism is 34. They're literally just like that right there is 34, which means so is the bottom. Like this is another pentagon down here, also 34, all right? It says it is a right pentagonal prism, which means it stands up straight. 
It's not oblique. That's all it means, okay? And then it says, and the length of a lateral edge is 12. So a lateral edge is like one of these guys. These are the lateral edges. That is 12, okay? Find the volume of the right pentagonal prism. So as long as you know what they're talking about, this is a very easy problem, right? So you're like, all right, what is the volume? Well, it's area of the base times the height. They literally told me the area of the base, okay? That pentagon, the area of that pentagon is 34. And the height is the height of that lateral edge. And we plug that in and we get 408. And the units for this, it says, are in inches. And this is a volume problem, so it is inches cubed. Pretty easy. Okay, last one. Find the lateral surface area of this right prism whose bases are regular pentagons. Dimensions are in feet. All right, lateral surface area. Read carefully. Don't do surface area. Do lateral surface area, which is even easier, okay? Lateral surface area is just perimeter of the base times height. All right, and you're like, uh-oh, I don't, oh, there it is. Oh, good. Okay, we have a 12 right there. That is very helpful. It does say these are regular pentagons. Does anyone know what a regular pentagon, like what that means, Charlotte? Yeah, so like this pentagon down here and the one on the top, it's regular. <laughs> it's normal. It's just a regular old pentagon, right? All those are equal, and then all the angles inside are equal if it's regular, okay? Which means that that's 12, that's 12, that's 12, that's 12, that's 12. So I need the perimeter of the base, which is 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, or 12 times 5, which is 60, okay? And then times the height, which is 16. And we get, I think, 960. So let me check. Yeah, 960 when we multiply those together. All right, and this is a lateral surface area. So what are my units going to be? Yes, it is surface area. So I'm really just finding the area of this plus the area of this plus the area of this. It's all of the outside faces added up. It's like a quicker way of doing a rectangle plus a rectangle plus a rectangle, five of those, okay? Everybody good? So it's squared. Do lateral surface area just like surface area with feet squared. That's it. Let's try two of these.